So if we look at these, now obviously we're not going to see from this direction, looking at your grip, no. because obviously looking from down the line, I want to show your path more than anything else, but getting yourself where you can also, this ping, where you can see yes. the Rife logo on yep. your glove there, you need that to be visible. Now again, with the irons, you could turn the club face to aim this way. So your club mm. face with your irons would aim left. Your grip being what we call slightly weak would mm. effectively send the club face in that direction. And those two wrongs would bring the club face back to their impact. Right. So it'd be reasonably straight with an iron. Mm. With the wood, you'd have the same grip aiming over here, okay? But the club face, you couldn't twist into the left. So you'd have yeah. to have the club face aiming straight. So when you come back with the grip, the ball goes over there, mm. yeah? That's why you turn it a few yep. shots with that. And that's why I think a lot of that over the top comes yep. in because you're trying to compensate for a face that is open, yes. okay? The left-hand one here now, even with the irons there, where the club face is square, back to him was good. There's that over the top oh, now. We see the club, yeah, yeah club sticking yeah. way outside. If the foam rubber finger was there, as you see on this one, you're now hitting it, yeah? yeah? The arms are a lot further from the body. There's kind of daylight with your arms there now. So you're basically just chopping into that yeah. golf ball swinging across the ball to the left, hitting mm. that kind of shot. Now, again, yeah. with a 7-iron, we saw a couple of shots with sort of 2,000 side spin, yeah? So the ball was mm. spinning quite a bit left to right. Yes. But you still hit reasonable results, yeah? Because you've got mm. enough loft and you can... You, hate to use the word get away with it, mm. but the club is yeah. in your, in your favour to some extent. working on my behalf. Exactly. Yeah. With a wood or a driver especially, they're not going to work as, no. fav as favourably, okay? So putting this sort of little... Uh, device here now your only feeling now is to swing underneath so the arms now coming in here you see the club now working underneath nice and shallow in the golf ball yeah. if i clear that the way we can see where the ball is and how that club is swinging down the line nowhere near that foam finger and the yeah. club now is swinging in this direction which is why mm -hmm. when you hit it it went pretty much dead straight towards target mm -hmm. whereas this one now you're swinging across the golf ball you see where the ball hits the screen there? Hits the screen oh, yeah. over here. Now, if there's sides on the golf ball, it would curve back. If there's not, it just misses left to target and is a lot weaker, yeah? yeah? So getting that path changed, not by trying to swing your arms out this way, mm. by more thinking, I've got to swing underneath and swing shallower. And again, it's always interesting. When you have, as we call the stabilise, when the sort of the foam finger was there, you didn't hit a single shot where you hit the foam finger. No. Yeah? As I said, first couple, you adjusted by pulling the oh, arms in yes, and dipping yeah, a little yeah. bit. But once you kind of figured out, well, actually, I can get underneath this. If I just swing the club from this direction, yep. you didn't hit a single shot where the spin was above a 1,000. I don't think you had some mm. like 200, 300, 300 some yeah. the other way. Really. And like I said, you hit almost the first shot where this starts right of target and drew back. Yeah, mm. without you deliberately aiming way right or sure. doing yes. something to yes. cheat it. Yeah? yeah, You actually set up. Dead square power to target. Yep. Your path was from the inside sufficiently enough with the face closing mm. up to hit a draw that ended up two or three feet left of the flag. Yep. So that's, that's the sort of efficiency we're trying to create right. more and more. Now, that's not going to happen Super. every single time, obviously. No, but, but if we can get the feeling of what that mm. club's going to do by swinging, again, underneath, swinging shallower more from that inside, yep. this would be a great device if you can sort of set up either at home. I mean, it doesn't take a lot. I mean, no. 50p bit of yeah. uh, insulation piping yes. and a stick. And yeah. just stick it in the ground. You almost stick it in the ground, possibly and angle it yeah, somewhere. Angle it. I'm yeah. sure you could find That's something fine. where. And again, just to sort of understand where you set up, it's opposite your back foot. Yes. And the foam finger is in line with the edge with of the golf ball. Yeah. You if you have yeah. the golf ball here, then you're I'll... going to miss it anyway. Of course. It doesn't matter. Yes. If you had yeah. the golf ball here, well, now you're going to whack it yeah. anyway. So you've got to make sure you've got it set up correctly. But yeah, yeah, edge of the ball on the edge of the foam, and then the foam is pointing effectively towards right. your right foot. Too far back, it's not going to make mm. it any better. It's going to make it almost impossible. If it's yeah. in the middle of your feet, you'll go under it no matter what sort of yeah. plane or path you have. Okay, so that's going to be where you're going to look at in terms of trying to get that as a feeling. And again, like I said before, if you can just, if you did that twice a day for two minutes yeah mm. just having the back guard so we're just walking it's okay yeah. and have some airflow balls that you think you've yeah. got just make some swings underneath that kind of foam finger yeah. just get this movement repeated over and mm. over again and then be done yeah Lovely. and then do it later on in the day sometime yeah. okay the more repetition you can get with that the more yes. we'll be able to take away as we call the stabilizers yes and then you'll just go yeah. back to it the golf balls nicely because yeah. at the moment now as much as the shots are improving they're nowhere near as good as they are when that foam finger is there. True. Yes. Which is I'm understandable yeah. because yeah. when you've got the device to help you hit it, 
the game's easier, yeah? It's like mm. having sides on the bowling ring when you yes. put the sides on there. Sometimes yeah. you, you make contact with them. But because mm. they're there, you can get in that yeah. corner, but it's fine. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So having that extra bit of help, okay? Mm. So have a couple more. There any questions mm. then with that at all? No, that's, that's Makes sense? Been very valuable indeed. I think yeah. grip's going to be a key thing with that yes. left-hand grip. Just crept yeah. around a little bit probably through lack of playing in the last few yeah, months. So, it's lack of playing. Yeah. yeah, so make sure we can see the logo on your glove there a bit right. more clearly. And then I say that shallow feeling into yeah. the golf ball is going to be the key yeah. thing. All right, lovely.